importantly, endotoxemia is not the same as bacteremia. So endotoxin in the bloodstream does not equate to primary or secondary bloodstream infection. More than 70% of patients with sepsis and high endotoxin activity uh, have negative blood cultures. Uh, endotoxin can result from uh, active infections with gram-negative bacteria, sure, but more commonly, uh, these molecules come out of the GI tract and uh, are seen also uh, uh, from the same source uh, in conditions like uh, like COVID-19, where you develop gut barrier dysfunction uh, and, and translocation of endotoxin. Uh, there may also be some release of endotoxin when bacteria are killed, uh, such as with uh, certain types of, uh, of antibiotics. Now, human beings are exquisitely sensitive to uh, endotoxin, much more so than our uh, cousins in the animal kingdom. This is comparing uh, humans to monkeys, and you can see that uh, expression of uh, uh, the top 100 upregulated genes, with just a couple of exceptions, uh, is much more uh, uh, highly expressed in humans compared to monkeys after an injection of, um, of LPS. And there's a treatment uh, that's been available for many years in, in many countries, including Japan, Italy, and Korea. Um, and this uh, uh, treatment involves uh, using polymyxin B uh, bound to a membrane uh, and use, using it to absorb uh, endotoxin. The advantage of that uh, is that the polymyxin doesn't go into the uh, circulation, uh, and so there's no risk of uh, toxicity uh, uh, from uh, from polymyxin B release 